Modern microelectronic devices, such as computer chips, rely on control of electron motion at the nanoscale. Individual materials do not allow such control inherently, so different semiconductors, metals and insulators must be combined together and carved at nanometer length scales to confine and direct electrons. The first step involves depositing very thin layers of different semiconductors on top of one another. The arrangement of atoms in a layer is known as a crystal lattice. As new atoms are deposited, they form strong chemical bonds at specific sites on the lattice underneath, locking them in position and forcing the new layer to conform to the previous one. If we had greater flexibility to position the atoms exactly as we choose from the bottom up, we could potentially realize infinite technological possibilities. In contrast, two-dimensional materials such as graphene already exist in thin atomic layers, which can be stacked together without any strong chemical bonds at the interfaces. This new freedom allows each layer to be stacked at a completely different orientation to the layer below, introducing a twist angle between the lattices. Looking closer, we can see symmetry points, where the atoms in both layers either overlap perfectly or are perfectly mismatched. By changing the twist angle, these symmetry points move closer or further apart and create the building blocks of a moiré super lattice, arising from a superposition phenomenon called a moiré pattern, which has its own periodic repetition larger than that of the atomic lattices forming it. We can study how electrons move through the twisted bilayer by connecting it to a circuit which adds electrons. We find that the moiré pattern modulates the mass and velocity of electrons in ways not possible in the atomically locked layers used in modern semiconductor technology. This can cause electrons to stop moving as individual particles and instead take on unusual correlated behaviours. For example, by adding electrons to bilayer graphene, cooling it down to extremely low temperatures and twisting it to the magic angle of only 1.1 degrees, it can become insulating, superconducting, or even ferromagnetic, despite being made of nothing but carbon. Beyond graphene, we can easily combine any of the hundreds of different two-dimensional materials together and fine-tune their nanoscale electronic and photonic properties through twisting enabling new scientific breakthroughs and realizing enormous flexibility to engineer the nanotechnology of tomorrow from the ground up with Twistronics.